On today's episode, you've heard from leaders in the Democratic Party about their legislative priorities, and last week you heard from Republican leadership to get some additional perspective on the 2019 session and recap what all has happened just during opening week. I chatted with Ryland Barton of Kentucky Public Radio to break it all down. Ryland, appreciate your time and uh, returning back to In Focus, Kentucky. Thanks, Mario. Uh, talk with us about this particular session. Uh, started in the first week of January, it goes for 30 days, but the legislators uh, t you know, take a couple, a few weeks off for a break and return in February. But uh, what have you been seeing uh, uh, out on the front lines and hearing uh, during the first weeks of the, se of the session? So the first couple days of the session really dominated by uh, uh, this one particular seat in the House of Representatives. It's House District 13, uh, which uh, Democratic. Uh, uh, representative Jim Glenn won by one vote. Uh, the outgoing uh, Republican representative, D.J. Johnson, so the incumbent, he had run for re-election, lost that election by one vote, and he's challenged that, uh, those election results. And so in order to actually have a, a recount, you have to petition to the House of Representatives. So the Republican-controlled House of Representatives is now appointed, they appointed this committee, uh, this board, to oversee this uh, election challenge, and we're going to be seeing that roll out over the next few weeks. Uh, basically, uh, uh, former Representative Johnson uh, says that there were a, a few uh, ballots that weren't counted. Uh, and, and some ballots that shouldn't have been counted. Uh, so he really, ultimately, he's just kind of looking for two votes <laughs> to, to swing in his favor. Uh, and also to note that uh, in addition with that, school safety, that's been uh, uh, talk from uh, House, the Senate, uh, leadership, but also just members saying that's a bipartisan uh, issue they're wanting to tackle together. Uh, do you see that uh, something yeah, that's coming together? That's a, it's a big bipartisan effort uh, uh, that, was, that lawmakers were working on uh, during the interim. So over the summer, they had all these meetings uh, to, to decide on how the state can try and make schools safer. This comes about a year after the shooting in Marshall County out in western Kentucky where two uh, high school sophomores were uh, shot and killed just before school started uh, last year and um, the legislature didn't pass anything last year uh, but they were working on something and now they've come up with this bill which uh, what it would do is, is it, it says that the, the legislature wants to uh, hire more school resource officers and mental health counselors and says that that's the goal. Now uh, it doesn't provide any funding for that yet but it's kind of like you know should funding become available that would be a top priority. It also creates a like a, a, a statewide school marshal who would oversee or school safety marshal who would kind of oversee these efforts and trying to make schools safer. Um, so yeah this is this is something that will definitely move uh, and, and lawmakers who are sponsoring it also say that this is a starting point. Uh, if there, you know, that there are going to be other proposals that are going to come to the come to the fore over the next few weeks, uh, and so we'll we'll certainly see a lot more discussion about that. And you've been at this for many years, uh, covering uh, general assemblies uh, here in Kentucky, but in other uh, areas as well. But uh, what's the makeup, in your opinion, of of the legislature from the House and Senate? Is this this particular 30-day session? There's lots of priorities from all over, but. Uh, do you anticipate seeing bills coming through and, and getting passed uh, uh, in March when the, se the session closes? Oh, definitely. That's uh, uh, just like any session, the real uh, the time when most of the action happens is in the final week or two of a legislative session. Uh, lawmakers, the leaders of the legislature and Governor Bevin have signaled that they really want a, another pension reform bill uh, to pass out of the legislature. This, of course, comes after the state Supreme Court struck down the last pension reform bill. Uh, it's unclear what they're thinking about, whether they'll just kind of go with the old version uh, that was struck down because the Supreme Court ruled that lawmakers had just rushed it. They didn't rule that the contents of that bill were illegal. Uh, so, well, all right, if they pass the bill you know, following the rules this time, maybe it would survive a, uh, survive a court challenge. So that's probably something the lawmakers will be talking about for a long time and might pass later on this legislative session. Also, uh, uh, watch for uh, abortion legislation to advance. Um, uh, especially this being uh, an election year for Governor. Uh, uh, governor Bevin being a, a very uh, 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 anti-abortion governor is uh, will very likely sign a, a piece of legislation that's move, moving its way through legislature now that would ban abortions once a, a heartbeat, a fetal heartbeat can be detected, which is as early as like six weeks in pregnancy, which is much earlier than um, uh, that is currently uh, protected by uh, uh, you know, the Roe v. Wade ruling, which says that states can't, uh, uh, can't legislate abortions prior to viability. 
anyway, it's a compli complicated way of saying that uh, expect pension and abortion uh, measures to advance during this legislative session. Well, Rylan Barton with Kentucky Public Radio, uh, uh, we appreciate you joining us and providing perspective on uh, being on the front lines of uh, the General Assembly in the session, and we will uh, continue to see your reporting. Thanks a lot, Mario. That's it for today's program. If you missed any of today's episode, you can go online right now to spectrumandfocus.com and watch this show there. And you can also see the program featuring legislative priorities from leaders in the Republican Party there as well. And don't forget, you can also follow me on social media for InFocus Kentucky updates. Until next time, have a great week.